Hello there, here we have a display, not just a display, it's a ESP32 based 1.9 inch AMOLED display from WaveShare. Due to its high resolution, it can display crispy images. Additionally, it has onboard IMU, TF card slot, rich number of GPUs, 60 MB flash, etc. We can use this display to display letters, images, animations, sensor readings, etc. Now in this video, let's see the complete details of this AMOLED board and learn how to program this. Let's get started with this video. So here is the display or development board. You can see the 1.9 inch capacitive AMOLED screen, which is based on RM67162 driver. It has a resolution of 536 by 240 pixels. This metallic casing provides better protection for the display. On the back side, you can see the ESP32 S3. The display is connected to the ESP32 via QSPI. It has 16 MB flash and 8 MB PS RAM. The GPIO pins are labeled neatly on the back side of the display. Here you can see the IPEX connector for external antenna. In this JST connector, we can connect 3.7 volt lithium batteries and we can charge that using the same USB. Now let's see how to upload code to this board. There are two options, one is via Arduino IDE and another is via ESP IDF. I am using Arduino IDE because I am familiar with that. First you need to prepare the Arduino IDE. For that, install the ESP32 boards to the Arduino IDE. So first paste the board URL in the preference, then search and install the board. Next search and install TFT ESPI library. All the documentation available in the WaveShare website, you can check that if you want. They also provided some examples, so I downloaded one and opened. To upload the code, first select the board as WaveShare ESP32 S3 Touch AMOLED 1.91. Now enable the USB CDC on boot. Change the partition scheme to 16 MB and enable the PSRAM. Now you can upload the code. After uploading the code to the display, you can see the animations and images on the display. See the refresh rate. It's good for displaying higher resolution images and animations. Now I connected this DF robot air quality sensor to the I2C pins of this display. Here is the result. You can see the values in the display as gauges. Perfect. This is another example. Here I am controlling the color of this RGB LED using these three variable resistors. We can see the RGB values on the display also in the slider. So in this way, we can use this board to build your projects and display the data on the AMOLED screen. The coding part is little bit hard for beginners, but you can refer the examples to master it. So that's all about this beautiful ESP32 AMOLED development board. You can download the codes of this project from my article. Also, you can find the product link from my video description. So hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.